Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't know if you watch my Instagram stories, but I recorded this video once already. And Mercury, Mercury Retrograde um, strikes again. I had it and like just the bottom part of the notebook was cut off out of the video. Um, so I might like be adjusting this a couple times, but I just really don't want it to happen again. Um, anyways, I finished my first uh, Traveler's Notebook insert for my um, Traveler's Company notebook, and I really enjoyed it. This is the Baumkuchen Traveler's Company grid collaboration notebook. It has um, just, I think it's 108 pages, um, which I have learned is too much for me for um, to stay in a notebook for creative daily journaling with the journal spreads that I like to make and the daily illustrations and everything, um, I end up, um, towards the end, you'll notice that the pages um, get kind of sparse and I just kind of like wanted to get it done. Um, I think especially for these types of journals, something shorter like the regular Traveler's Company um, grid notebook, which is what I have for this time around, um, I think that those are perfectly suited for these because I enjoy doing the flip throughs also <clears throat> and uh, this got a little too chunky for me to enjoy in my traveler's notebook because then my other notebook had issues writing in it um anyways I got this um oh wow like a little I mean I shared on my Instagram when I first got this um and I don't personally remember when it was, but it was um, before Christmas at least. Um, the beginnings of it started with just writing and a few stickers um, and some drawings a little bit and asking myself some questions that needed to be asked. And then I started writing um, my first zine, The Chicken, the Egg, and the Void, um, I started writing the poems that went in that zine in here. Um, so I guess like, I don't know, I worked on that, the poems for that for a while before I actually put it out there. Okay, see this says, this is a poem I submitted in October of 2022. Um, so, I mean, my traveler's notebook is one that I come in and out of as I need to. Um, okay, yeah, see, here's the poems that I wrote while driving a lot. Um, my first zine, um, or my second zine, Observations While Driving, which is a mini zine, and I'm thinking it's going to be a series because I do drive a lot. Um, those poems are in here also. So this is October 10th, 2022. Um, so maybe I jumped around a little bit. I'm not sure. Um, or maybe I wrote the poem first and then I went back and made the note about when I submitted. But I got Happy Meal, Happy Meal, Happy Mail from Jane the Crazy. And um, I included some of the packaging here, um, a photo I printed of an art journal spread I did. Um, I got some pocket journal Pam. I don't remember where I got these traveler notebook stickers. They're like watercolor stickers. Um, and I still have a handful of them. I just don't remember where I got them. Um, okay. Then here's an illustration that I did that I really liked. Um, and a sticker and some washi from Neat Stuff Sticker Club with Mindy Lacefield. Okay, see, this is like uh, written journal entries from Halloween, which we had kind of a, the kids had a stomach bug for Halloween. So here I did this little tip-in thing um, where I wrote on this postcard from Jane the Crazy, I wrote a note to my future self. I don't like, okay, so maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I'm using really like washi that's not that good, but this did not work. Maybe this is too big to do this with. So if you guys have any tips on tip-ins, I think that's what they're called, um, leave it in the comments. Um, 
because I would love to do stuff like this more, especially for like my regular journals. I just, I hate that this is like kind of peeling off. Um, so this is like the only time I really did this. I have a sticker here that I really love from um, Neat Stuff Sticker Club, uh, Pocket Journal Pam. These are some fr uh, a couple of freebies that uh, Jane the Crazy included in my order. Um, and then some more poetry. I did this illustration with watercolor of um, the Virgin Mary that I really liked. Um, and then more stickers and a cup of coffee illustration I really liked. You'll see that I do a lot of, I have a lot of artwork and I have a lot of illustrations of the Virgin Mary, even though I'm not technically Christian or Catholic. Um, that's a whole other thing. I really like the stickers. Again, um, more neat stuff, Sticker Club and Pocket Journal Pam. You're gonna see a lot of my favorite creators show up and again and again and again. Um, I did this illustration, which I really liked. It was kind of outside my comfort zone. Um, I think I used colored pencils for it. Um, printables from Pocket Journal Pam. And an illustration I did of Oscar, my son. And this is an illustration I did of myself. Um, and I was doing some journaling and reflecting. A little mushroom sprite that I drew, which was fun. And some just random ephemera here. Um, this was when I started on my um, inner temple zine, inner temple building, which um, was the zine that I wrote, um, kind of discussing how I used, um, how I initially used my journaling practice to build realms for meditation so I could do like journeying meditation. Um, like I would set up like my own little underworld and it would help me explore certain themes and certain ideas. And um, that's what that zine covers, and I still have quite a few of those left. Um, and if anybody, <clears throat> excuse me, if anybody makes zines or anything, and if you guys wanna trade, I'm always down for that also. Um, I'm trying to work on a new zine right now, but every time I go to get started, um, I freeze. Um, I believe this is Jenny May June, um, one of the printables I got from them, I think last summer, um, but I could be wrong on that as far as like when I got it, but it is from their Patreon. Um, this is also when I was watching Adventure Time. So you see a lot more like colorful, bright aesthetics coming through as far as like what I'm doing. Oh, I got Posca markers. So those are showing up. I really liked this illustration that I did, even though it was kind of like, I was playing with um, the Micron pens and just kind of seeing how that worked. Uh, there's an illustrator I like on Instagram. They run this um, risograph printing uh, business called Outlet PDX, and this is from their scrap pack. Uh, so anything like this um, is going to be from that scrap pack, and I will link the website below. Um, but they, they have the printing shop, and then they have these scrap packs, and it has a lot of really fun, unique scraps in it. Um, like this is from like a little French fry bag. So I got that for Christmas as well as signing up for the zine club that they have where you get a zine every couple months. Um, this is a sticker from Lyonic on Things, which I will also link below. Um, fantasizing about driving to the ocean um, because I've only seen the ocean for about five minutes my entire life. Um, this is from Pocket Journal Pam. I really like the cozy vibe of this sticker. As you guys know, if you've watched my videos, I'm very into tea. <laughs> um, a unicorn girl illustration. Um, unicorns. I actually have a unicorn tattoo. Um, so those are really important to me. And it says, so shine on you, prismatic unicorn. More lionicon things, stickers. 
Um, and, oh yeah, see, here's a Tea Party sticker. I don't know where I got that. Um, this is from Madoka Magica, which is an anime that I really enjoyed. Um, I was kind of delving into my fascination with Harriet the Spy as um, when I was in, when I was a kid. Um, where does our childhood curiosity go? How can we engage with it again? Um, oh, I was listening to the book The Wander Society by Carrie Smith, um, and I was reading Thich Nhat Hanh at that time, so um, those are all things that I've listened to again since then, but um, the Harriet the Spy thing was interesting, especially since I've connected with folks online and learned that like it was a big thing for like a lot of kids, especially people in the journal community. Um, so this is actually just packaging that I got from an order, but it's from Kitten Shops Illustrations. I love their illustrations. I would absolutely love to get one of their tarot decks, um, but I'm trying to not spend money right now. I also enjoy these like vintage sewing illustrations, and this is when I started getting back into um, this idea of like uh, fashion illustration and just... One of the things I found that I really enjoyed drawing, which you probably have seen pop up, is I enjoy drawing women um, or non-binary people um, in different outfits. Um, I don't draw a lot of men and boys technically, um, but I mean, I'm not assigning gender to any of them. I just, the only boy that I really draw is my son. Um, I guess a lot of them is like self-portraits or things that I find fascinating that I want to engage with. Um, so that's that's where that leads me to. Although I guess I should probably get out of my comfort zone a little bit. I don't know. Maybe that's an idea to play with. Um, this was a new moon. I don't know the date of it, though. Finished my zine. I don't know what zine that is. Talking about um, self-celebration. This was like a single line drawing I was trying to do. And just trying to play with being uncomfortable and doing things that I'm not used to. Um, I started drawing houses a lot because I wasn't sure. Um, the, I always end up just drawing girls and um, women in different outfits over and over again. And I was trying to push myself outside of that. And I thought maybe drawing houses, um, I have a hard time because I don't, I'm not surrounded by a lot of architecture. And you know, a lot of these houses around me. I guess I'm inspired by like the barns and like the old dilapidated houses, but I don't know. Anyways, this was a night that I didn't get a lot of sleep. Another one where I didn't get a lot of sleep, probably because my kids kept waking me up. My daughter has um, issues with laying down. She will um, throw up in her sleep a lot because of heartburn issues. So we have to monitor what she eats a lot. And it took us a long time to figure out exactly what that was. Um, it's like a combination of allergies and heartburn. And if like everything hits just right, then we get this super fun combination of cleaning up puke every night. Um, another introspection. A lot of this is just asking myself questions. I don't always journal on it here, but like I ask questions that are popping up in my head as I'm doing the creative aspect of it because I always think it's interesting to see like creatively what comes through. I recently posted a story on my Substack that's called um, Moonbeams Portal uh, Cafe and Gift Shop and this was the I've been working on it since like last year, not the story, but the story idea. And they're gonna be in little snippet episodes, but this is Moonbeam here. And just kind of, um, it's supposed to be like a juxtaposition of like running a cafe and having this like a very basic job and day-to-day -day minutia um, <clears throat> right next to an interdimensional portal where you can visit different realities. Um, and just kind of like how everything is just what it is. And so, I mean, the only thing you can do is live your life, right? Um, I don't think I ever shared this page even on um, my Instagram, but I have some journaling here. I was getting back into art journaling um, and Megan in the Moon's 365 art prompts um, was really inspiring for me, is still really inspiring for me, even though I'm not art journaling as much as I was. 
Um, I really enjoyed this. Um, I got some D-Stash pens from Megan and the Moons D-Stash sale and stickers. Um, and so I kind of went like crazy with all the stickers and stuff on here. Um, but I'm just trying to like give my, this is a page where I'm just trying to like give myself permission to do what feels good. Um, this was a spread that I shared on Patreon. Um, when I usually, like I do our daily, or I do our weekly tarot readings and I include a lot of prompts and affirmations and sometimes like a creative challenge and I will engage with that as I go along um, and maybe share some spreads with what I do in conjunction with that. Um, this is just a really fun spread. I started watercoloring coloring my pages at this point. I started playing with watercolors more. Um, I, here's my Kitten Chops illustration sticker. I think I did this on camera for you guys. Maybe that's why it seems like I've talked about it before. I cut this out of an old sewing magazine, I think. I don't know, but I really like that outfit. I like old fashioned dresses. This says happiest when exploring. It's like one of the reasons why um, my Patreon is called the Explorers Club. Um, this is fun sticker. I actually freehand drew the outline for this character with a purple pen when I was at coffee with some family and I was really proud of the fact that I felt confident enough to do that. And again, it got me back into this idea of like the fashion illustrations, just drawing these fun characters, coming up with little stories. This was like a little 90s chick, um, someone who I probably would have thought was really cool when I was a preteen. Um, here is, this is highly inspired by the movie Uptown Girls with Brittany Murphy and Dakota Fanning. Um, I always really liked the dresses and the fairy vibes that it had um, with it. These are just some watercolor pages. I was trying to paint my dog, Callie, um, who is a black standard poodle. And um, I'm kind of happy with like the shape and stuff that I found here, but um, I was painting outside and so it wasn't very forgiving. Um, this is like the two weeks I got really into watercolors, which I'm starting to again. And then um, some Tandy Art stickers that I got. And this is like some paper that I was experimenting with with my new um, acrylic inks that I got. The violets that have been all over our yard has been super fun to watch. I love painting and drawing composition notebooks. I feel like it's something that I can always get right. Um, you know, here is um, more Pocket Journal Pam stickers. Uh, Susanna Tavares, um, who's inner child oracle I use a lot, but I also enjoy their stickers. I really like this illustration that I did. Um, and then you probably have seen this on my Instagram. Um, we had a lot of success recently with potty training. My son is now officially potty trained after a year of us fighting constantly about it. Um, here I was trying to um, draw and paint a dog because my kids suddenly got into Paw Patrol and that's kind of taken over our life. This was supposed to be like an illustration of me in high school when I used to be really into wearing basketball shorts and I had these like red slippers that I would wear as shoes. And I'm just trying to find like inspiration for things to paint and things to illustrate. I think that's where I run into my biggest problem is that I have a hard time. I feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. So I keep trying to push myself to do new things. These are more Susanna Tavares stickers. Um, trying out illustrating my day. Both my kids wore overalls. I made cheeseburgers for dinner. These pages, I tried to paint the Powerpuff Girls because it's on Netflix now. I did not do that in a way that I liked, so I ended up skipping this page. Um, I did, I had already glued this down, but it's a tag from an Eloise doll that my daughter Eloise got for Christmas. I'm really proud of this illustration of the bathtub. Um, this is a day where I came home and I spent my solo time where my kids were gone um, taking a bath and relaxing because that's what I needed. I also started writing with my mechanical pencil, which was kind of different for me at least. 
Um, and I have to say that I'm still really enjoying that. Uh, this is the um, book, A Psalm for the Wild Built. I've now listened to both the Monk and Robot books for, by Becky Chambers and can highly recommend them. Um, and so this was showing up in my journal a lot. As you can see, I did this at, um, as a journal with me. I had already written out the text, but I got this sticker while shopping because of that book. Uh, I was actually shopping at an outdoor store and getting a book bag for hiking. So I thought it was kind of like interesting because it's all about robots like um, traveling the wilds. Um, I got new Copic markers, which is what I've been using a lot in my recent abstract sketchbook pages. More robot stickers that I got. I ordered the zines that um, Quiet Noticing released in their Etsy store. I was really happy to snag those because I do really admire their art. Uh, this is from Morning Pages. Um, it's like I have to make myself big to feel valid, to feel seen. I have a lot of issues with feeling ignored and irrelevant, and so um, that shows up a lot for me in my creative practice, and I just try to reckon with that every day. Um, I got one of these Fjall Raven backpacks. I'm sure I didn't say that correctly, um, but that's what the tag was from a couple pages back, and this was the little um, pamphlet that came with it. I really enjoyed this artwork. Um, and this is a card from a, the crochet mushroom sticker that I ordered, I believe, um, from Crafty Odd Mama. And the last page, um, some il pencil illustrations I did and a mushroom I painted. Another sticker from Tandy Art. And by this point, you can tell I wasn't really like writing anything. I just wanted to like finish this notebook. So that is everything. I have now um, updated the books that are in my traveler's notebook, the inserts I'm using. I'm using one of these inserts for just writing. I'm gonna use the watercolor insert for painting and then a regular grid insert for the creative daily spreads. So um, I am appreciative that you guys watched this um, and I hope that you have a lovely Thursday or whatever day you're watching this. Okay, bye.